Right. Evening guys, or afternoon even, and as promised, the Asagi in the bowl. We've just measured her, or him, and it stands at 39 or 37.5. I hope it's doing the fish justice because it is absolutely stunning. Well, I'm very impressed. We brought it in December 2019. And the growth is phenomenal. Very, very happy. Oh, a bit of sun there. Just before we move on to that one. Just wanted to show you the measurements of the Asagi first and the dates. Here we go, hopefully everyone can see that clearly enough. Get me a clean bit of card, plastic card, so I can scrape so, it. So there we go, and hopefully that will tie in with the video that we just done. Yeah, right. he's definitely male. Yeah, he's definitely male. See how big he is. Come on. Let's do some measuring here for you guys. 43 and a half. Yeah. You're cracking fish. Oh, that sun is definitely bright. There you go, just doing a scrape. Jordan does the scrapes. He's my baby. Gut bucket. Yes, this is one that bullies everybody out of the way when you try to hand feed. Little gut bucket. Right. Right, this is the Kegoy. This is my number two baby. I will dig out a little video clip of uh, when we bought her. She was lovely when she bought, but she's got a perfect zipper going down the centre. She's got two identical scales, one small, one slightly bigger either side of her. But other than that, she is clean as a whistle. Just like gut bucket, she's one of the first <laughs> one of the first to come. <laughs> As you can see, she's in beautiful condition. Let's get a size on her. 49.5. I'm really happy. She's stunning. Love her zipper. Nice clean linear lines. The sun's playing hazard here. I do hope this is actually turning out okay because the sun is a bit of a nightmare at the moment. Not that we're complaining. This is the one I'm hoping to get to 80, 80 centimetres or more. I think she's definitely got the genetics for it. Patches. Call out patches because when we had to do the emergency rebuild of the pond, about four days afterwards, she managed to jump out and wedge herself behind the uh, settlement chamber. But she's slowly coming back. The black marks are starting to fade. I've had this fish now for six or seven years now. Started off about 
three inches at most. Paid one pound fifty for it from from a New Forest koi. Got beautiful temperament. My number four baby. Forty-five. Forty-five centimeters. She's not been a massive grower, but the scaling and that's starting to come back nicely. She gets this bit of carp pox on the on the tip of her nose. It's been there since the day I bought her. It goes right down, and then in the winter it comes up and looks like a bloody great big lump. But nothing could do about it. It's slowly getting less and less as she gets older. But that happens with some koi. You know what it's like. Let's, let's get her back into the pond. Here we have an Adam Bayer Koi Farm Sakura Ogon. I will show you a little, uh, we'll put up a clip or a photo of when this started. We got this September last year. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say it was around the, the 10 to 12 centimetres mark. We had four and this was the best grower and uh, the, the best pattern. Won't be going anywhere this one. Definitely not because guess whose fish this belongs to? <laughs> it's a bloody surprise. Can't even call it my number five fish can I? But see how much she's doing. Come on bub. Thirty-two. Thirty-two centimetres. Whoa. I mean but the the camera just does not do the skin justice. The metallic luster on this fish is absolutely sublime. Metallic kahaku. Here we have my number three fish. Two step goshki came from World of Water in Shinfield just before they moved to Bracknell. I liked this fish purely because it's got a lovely pattern. The lines are sharp on the red and the robin underneath was very, very pale and one thing I was taught by Mark at Cuttlebrook is when choosing uh, something that's got robin, like an asagi or matsuba, when they're young you want to have that, that robin as light as possible for as long as possible because once it starts to darken up and thicken up when it's bigger, if it's too dark you end up with a black fish more than a, a grey fish. Some like that, but I prefer the the very light Asagi style robin. It's still got a hell of a lot to do. Hell of a lot to do. Gill plate seems nice and smooth. And we're looking at 31 centimeters. I have got progression videos of this one, so I will add that to the to the video once I put it together. But yeah. Cracking fish, best uh, well, best thirty-five pound we spent, because that's a, how much he cost. Not bad, he is Japanese. I think this one was Yamazaki. This one, I can't name it at the moment, and neither could Adam and Amanda when we we bought it. We got this uh, from our second trip. And that's that's the trip this year, not last year. And as soon as we looked into the vat and see it, we was like, "What is that?" And Adam says, "We don't know. It came from an Achiba spawning, but it looks nothing like an Achiba. Well, not in, not in my my eyes of what Achibas look like. It's like a grey black colour." It has faded back because the temperatures are up. It was darker than that. 
but it's it's crazy I just don't know how to uh, name it species wise it come from a, an achiever spawning but looks nothing like an achiever your thoughts in the comments Twenty-seven and a half. Um, when we got this in April, it was in the, the twelve to fifteen centimeters mark. So yeah, we've had a good good bit of growth from here as well. Nice smooth gill plates, but I think he's still too young to be able to uh, say yay or nay on what he is. But like I say, your thoughts in the comments on that. Okay. Last but not least, my number one fish. This one is my baby, this one. I was really pleased with this one, even though uh, the gentleman who owns exclusively koi wasn't, because I got it on eBay and it, other people must have uh, just passed it by. I ended up paying 20 pound. What a cracker. My only hope is that as it, as it progresses, it doesn't turn into a speckly rotten banana. But so far, so good. Touch wood, doing well. Now this is the last one for bowling today. Smooth gill plates again, but I still think it's a little bit too, uh, too small to tell yet. But let's see. Kiyotsuri. It's 30 centimetres. Well, I think it's 30 centimetres of loveliness. Got real nice black. I just can't wait for it to get bigger. So, that's a look through, I would say, about half of the fish that are in the main pond. So, from me and Sue, we will catch you on the next one.